Now, we've got microbiology peeps here tonight, yeah? Put your hand up if you're a microbiology peep, yes? Micro yes, down the back, I see you, I see your hand. No. Um, yeah, cool, because I know this is actually what you came for, right? So that was the musical written by a guy who actually knows how to write musicals. This is the musical that I wrote. It's called Bacteria, the musical. Okay, because if you've only, thank you. <laughs> if, if you've only met me for the first time tonight, apart from singing, I, I, do, I do bacteria. Now, I, I, I study bacteria, so I'm, I'm a lecturer in microbiology, so I earn my living telling people about all the gruesome facts of, of bacteria. Um, if you are squeamish or afraid of bodily functions, now is the time to go, okay? <laughs> because Bacteria the Musical is, is filled with, with bodily fluids um, and bacteria, because that's where they like to live. I, I want this to be educational because I know that there's only like a few of you who actually know about bacteria. So I thought while I sing you Bacteria the Musical, I could maybe inform you about bacteria as we go so you don't feel left out, okay? Because I, I don't want to be like classist. I don't want only bacteriologists to get this. Okay, so Bacteria the Musical, Actually, this is the only song I've written from it. It's got no plot whatsoever except for this song. But it'll... <laughs> actually, I think Dean suggested that I... Wherever he is. Um, I think he suggested that I... I'm writing... I want to say writing a romance novel about bacteria. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's about love in the, in the bacteria lab. Um, yeah, and he suggested that maybe I should just make the musical follow the book. But that means I've got to write the book first. But anyway, here's... here's this is the preview, the concept album song of Bacteria the Musical. I don't think it even has a title for this song, but it might be called I Don't Believe in Things I Can't See. Maybe. We'll go with that one for now. Okay. Ah, okay. So I studied this bacteria called Shigella in my, in my thesis. I wrote a whole thesis about it. And it causes diarrhea, in case you don't know. But not just any kind of diarrhea. It, do you want to know? Like, I'm going to tell you anyway, because I actually went through it. I actually inoculated, infected myself with this bacteria whilst I was working on it. Um, and I had a very severe case of, of diarrhea, but not just diarrhea. I'm talking like the horrible, bloody mucoid sort, which is just, it's really, yeah, anyway. Okay, so that's about as gross as it gets. So bacteria the musical, let me set the scene. So there's this microbiologist, me, who is singing this song about someone that they've met, so somebody else. Um, but I'm actually going to sing the both parts because there's only me, right? Um, and it's a, this conversation about this person, me, trying to convince this other person, somebody else, that bacteria really do exist and like trying to like bring up all the things that like prove that bacteria really do exist. Okay, scene set? Okay, good. <sighs> okay, here we go. But I might stop and just give you some bacterial facts as we go. Yeah, we'll see. Any terms that you don't understand, just put your hand up and I'll stop and explain them. Well, I once met a man who didn't believe that bacteria exist. He'd resist, he'd insist, saying this is just nonsense. And I said, I don't believe that you don't believe that bacteria exist. How can that be? And he just said, I don't. And so I said, what? Not even Staphylococcus, Streptococcus, Micrococcus, Enterococcus, any coccus. And he just said, no, nah, I don't believe. And I said, what about Borrelia or Listeria or Chlamydia or Clostridia? And he said, no, nah, I just don't believe. And so I said, what about Klebsiella, Salmonella? You know about Salmonella, yeah? That's the one that causes like food poisoning in chicken. Okay, Salmonella. Yep. Francisella. Oh, you probably don't know that one because it's quite rare, rare. Have you heard of Francisella? No? Okay, well, it's a bad one. It kills you. Um, what about Shigella? See, I got Shigella in there. Yeah, because I know all about Shigella and the bloody mucoid stools. Yeah. Okay. Um, and he said, no. He said, I don't believe in things I can't see. single cell prokaryotic nucleolus mitochondrialis organisms called bacteria but bacteria don't concern me oh that's just the first verse you like it yeah all right there's more there's more just wait so 
thought it was fair enough. He couldn't see them, so he didn't believe. So I said that you can't see bacteria with the naked eye. Maybe you should try and use my microscope. But he said no. Now, that's actually a little bit of a lie because actually they found this bacteria recently. It's called Megabactum, I think, or Mac Megabacterium, which you can actually see with the naked eye. It's pretty cool. Like, it's so big. But anyway, we'll just assume that this song was written before that or that he just doesn't read nature papers. Okay. Microscope, that's right. And he said, I know that you've got eyes to see, but I don't want to use your eyes, I want to use my eyes to see, and so I still don't believe. And so I said, Okay, so you don't see bacteria, but what about you can feel them and you can feel their effects? So let me tell you about some of those. I said that, Did you know the bacteria are the things that make your snot green when you've got a cold? It's true. Did you know that bacteria are the things that make your pimples all pussy? It's propioni bacteria, just in case you're wondering. Um, what about, did you know that people with really bad underarm odour, it's not actually their fault, it's actually because there are bacteria growing there that cause the smells and the gases. So there you go. So when there's somebody on the train next to you, just don't get upset that they're smelly. Blame the bacteria. It's their fault, yeah? Okay. And what about also the fact that when you eat, Lots of beans. You know how you get really, really gassy? Well, that's actually bacteria too because the bacteria in your gut tend to break down beans and protein and make lots of gases and hence the terrible smells. Okay, but still, even after all this, what I should have put in the song probably was, did you know that your body is made up of like, I don't know, maybe 10 to the 15 cells or something like that? Human cells, I'm talking. Okay, but in and on you, there are currently about 10 to the 14 bacterial cells. Ooh, that makes you 50% bacterial if you think about it. Have a look at the person next to you, okay? Because they are like this raging incubus of bacteria right now. Yeah, yeah, have a think about that the next time you shake someone's hand, huh? Yeah, thought that would gross you out. Always grosses out my first year students. <sighs> Okay, so even after all this, he still didn't believe that bacteria exist. And I went to all these lengths to try and explain it. But all he had to say was, I don't believe in things I can't see. No, you can't make a fool out of me. Though I can see that you're happily wrapped up in your little single cell, nucleus, mitochondrialis, prokaryotic organisms, bacteria don't concern. substitute for a whole lot of different songs I'm thinking. Okay, let me try one on you here. It's nine o'clock on a Saturday and the regular crowd rushes in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about, um, oh, just in case you didn't know, that was, that was the, um, sing us a song, you're the piano man, yeah? Yeah, okay, good. All right, you know more about Billy Joel than you do about bacteria, that is clear. Um, what about... Okay, so he still doesn't believe that bacteria exist. I don't know why. And then this. I once knew a man who travelled through various parts of Central Asia, which shall remain unnamed. And he came back with a very bad case of traveller's diarrhoea, which, if you're interested, is caused by ETEC, which is like an entrotoxigenic E. coli species. Very nasty. As nasty as Shigala. Very similar to cholera, actually. But anyway, I digress. Um, so he went to the doctors and to the hospital, but unfortunately, while he was in hospital, they pumped him full of antibiotics, which killed bacteria. That's great. But unfortunately, it also leaves you open to opportunistic infections, which are called nosocomial in the hospital setting, just in case you're wondering. And he got a very bad case of Clostridium difficile associated diarrhea, otherwise known as CDAD and became very, 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 very sick. And I thought, surely now he will believe that bacteria exist. But wait, there's more. Whilst he was in hospital being treated for his diarrheal, clostridial associated thing, he also came down with a methicillin-resistant form of Staphylococcus aureus, 
very dangerous, almost untreatable, almost deadly. But thankfully, the doctors believed in bacteria. And so they treated him with vancomycin, which is what you give for most penicillin-resistant staph aureus infections, just in case you ever come across one. <sighs> yes, well, anyway, so they believed in bacteria and they were able to treat him. And I thought, surely now, surely now he will believe in bacteria and, and their powers of good and evil. But do you know what he said to me after all that? He said, I don't believe in things I can't see. Oh, you can't make a fool out of me. Though I can see you're happily wrapped up in your single cell prokaryotic mitochondrial nucleus, this organisms called bacteria. Bacteria don't concern me. So it's a hit, yeah? We should do this. We'll put on a stage show, yeah? All right.